a timeless tribute to the sacrifices and contributions of our fallen heroes, the California Firefighters Memorial is a symbol of honor and reverence. Since its unveiling in 2002, our esteemed memorial has brought comfort to so many and a feeling of pride to all. From the statue's fallen brother, created by retired Sacramento Battalion Chief, Jesus Romo, and holding the line, designed by renowned artist Lawrence Allen Noble. The California Firefighters Memorial captures the compassion and courage of every frontline firefighter. At the heart of the California Firefighters Memorial is its massive wall that embraces the lives of our brave men and women who sacrificed all. Over 1,000 names are inscribed on our memorial wall. Firefighters who died in the line of duty, dating all the way back to 1850, upon the inception of the great state of California. To honor their last and final alarm, a set of turnouts forever remain. Signifying the presence of our fallen brothers and sisters will always be with us. We will never forget. Family members, friends, and colleagues of our fallen firefighters gathered together on a breathtaking fall afternoon to honor our bravest. Beginning the day's event, California Professional Firefighters and the California Fire Foundation hosted a special breakfast for the families of their loved ones. Over the years, this tradition has become a welcomed setting for family and friends to share stories and memories of our fallen. Firefighters, family members, and grateful Californians came together for a somber autumn tradition. On October 5, 2013, the California Firefighters Memorial added 22 names to more than 1,200 who have given their lives in the line of duty. The 11th annual memorial ceremony was a fresh reminder of the sacrifices made by all firefighters and their families. As firefighters, our devotion to duty is only matched by our devotion to each other. When we lose a firefighter, whether from a traumatic loss or the slow motion death from a job-related illness, we feel that loss deeply. As this, it is as if it were a member of our own family. Each year, the California Firefighters Memorial offers a solemn remembrance for family members and gives firefighters a way to honor their fallen brothers and sisters. Governor Jerry Brown said those who have fallen represent the best of California and its people. But today we recognize those who have fallen in the service to our state, to our future, in protecting all of us. I can't think of any better way to spend this Saturday morning. We're amidst life and the beautiful trees and the weather, but we're thinking about those who have died, those who have died serving all of us. In addition to their legacy of service, each of the individuals honored at the memorial leaves behind family, friends, and colleagues grieving the loss of a loved one. It was this personal legacy that Cal Fire Battalion Chief Mark Williams shared about his colleague and friend, Christopher Douglas. But because of this beautiful memorial, these special people will always be remembered and honored for what they gave. So as I end this, today I ask, Please hug your loved ones a little longer and a little tighter tonight and tell them you love them with all your heart. The heart of the ceremony is the presentation of American flags to the families of those being added to the memorial wall. For many, this simple gesture offers loved ones a chance to grieve their loss in the company of others who understand their pain. William Michael Reardon, Roseville. Jerry R. Chastain, Orange County. Joseph F. Curran, Jr., Sacramento City.
Gary Eugene Lott, Cal Fire. Gordy F. Varney, Cal Fire. Richard Allen Halstead, Cal Fire. Gerald L. Coates, Los Angeles City. Steen Feld Jensen, Laguna Beach. David M. Duke, San Diego. Jose Manuel Martinez, San Jose. Dennis Charles Hansen, Cal Fire. John J. Cobos, Los Angeles County. Robert E. Van Wormer, Cal Fire. <laughs> Luis Alfonso Magallanes, Cal Fire. Isaac Hollis III, National City. <laughs> Gerald L. Money, San Bernardino City. Karen Lee Shubin, Cal Fire. John Robert Duff, Ventura City. Alexander J. Stevenson, Cal Fire. Luke Douglas Foster Sheehy, U.S. Forest Service.
Janet L. Chatelaine, Los Angeles County. Christopher Lee Douglas, Cal Fire. We honor our fallen firefighters for their selfless devotion to duty with their last alarm. Their duties are done, they're going home. After the mournful sounding of the last alarm, family and friends moved toward the etched limestone of the memorial wall to touch the name of their loved one one last time. It's an opportunity for all of us to come together to honor the loved ones, our brothers and sisters that were lost, but also to tell the families how important they are as part of the fire service community. I feel so honored to be here and um, to have have everyone honor my son the way they have. To see his name on that wall is incredible and um, bittersweet. And um, so it's been a wonderful experience and I appreciate so much the California Fire Foundation for doing this. It's, it's excellent, wonderful. Staff and, uh, and the singers and the speakers, uh, it's a very moving experience. And the, the flag presentation was very special. The ceremony makes me feel like I'm not alone, that I, there's other people going through the sim similar incidents as, as myself. It does help to know that other people are going through the same thing and, and that I'm not alone. I feel as though I've gained a whole family through this experience. It's been incredible. The support of the fire family has definitely been there from day one, without a doubt, especially with Karen's death. It's just kind of carried me along with all the, the love and support. It's all part of the family, and, and I can't tell you how overwhelmed my wife and I and our daughters have been with the outreach of the firefighting community, with those big family arms. They've said, hey, she, he's, come on in. Last night, we came over and, and saw Jan's name on the, on the wall. And uh, you know she'll be she'll be remembered forever. He paid the ultimate sacrifice, but forever we can remember him, and he's being honored. And thousands of people are going to come and see his name and realize what he sacrificed. So that means a lot to me. Right now, it's extremely painful for us and emotional. But I'm looking forward to when I can take my um, my kids here in the future and show them what what their father did. Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom. Let it be, let it be. And in my hour of darkness, she is standing right in front of me, speaking. 